Hello everyone, welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. Okay, so it is currently March and we're going to skip ahead here to April, which we'll be selling the clothes and there's quite a lot to sell. Now, I had a bit of a disaster, um, as you can see here. What I done was, this had um, was barley in it, and I thought it was weeds. <laughs> I started putting the blouse right before I realised. I said to myself, that doesn't really look like weeds, and then I picked it up and then I realised it was, it was oats. So, yeah. The other thing as well is, um, sugar beet was grown here, it was already harvested so we'd already lost it and I had rented the tools and waste like 20k on renting tools out so I'm a bit annoyed about that. But anyway, not to worry, we're going to make it back now soon enough. So I'm going to go here and visit the house here and we're going to sleep. Um, the cotton has been put down as well and I, I just put the uh, a weeder through it. To keep the weeds out and I've done a good enough job and I've done that straight after rolling it so as soon as it was done rolling the seed I put the um, put the um, thing through it yeah there's the yeah I put the the weeder through it and I've done a good enough job of getting rid of it now before we start off I'm just going to feed the cows really quickly I was going to do this before the you know, the episode but I'll get it done here now before I forget and I also need to check to see if they've got enough silage and stuff it should be okay. I also could do a repair on this as well. I just like to get this bit here done out of the way first. Oh, the wee robot must be away. It's got the covers closed. And I can see there is a wee bit of silage left. So they're alright. I just need to keep an eye on the mineral feed as well. That's the other thing as well that needs to be kept topped up on this. usually where it has like a, a maniac in here it doesn't like opening that there inside you see the whole lot lifts there it goes as long as you're sort of away from the um the railings you're okay because what happened is if you're too tight to them railings when it does that you no know, like sort of judder about it, it likes to merge in with the railings and then you can't get it out so i'll take it back around here go let that fill up just in curious how much is left in here let's see 167,000 so yeah it's all right uh, just yeah there's some silage left over that's okay we'll leave that to it I'm not gonna bother with that now let's go on over and pick up the uh, trailer and we'll go get all the stuff and um, we'll get the cakes and we'll get the uh, all the other stuff. I'm not going to bother picking up the cotton just yet because we've got, not the cotton, the, the wool. We've got loads of that at the minute so we can do that later on. I'll do that, oh, you know, like behind scenes. Um, did I forget to cut the grass? I did forget to cut the grass, didn't I? Hold on a second. Oh, I forgot to do the grass. I'll get that going here now before I forget. Um, I was supposed to cut it in March, but now it's April. Not to worry, though, because we still have to do it in June anyway. It's skipping months, so it's alright. Would be more um, annoyed if it had been the other way around. I'm going to get this to cut. Because I need uh, them bales for the money. I don't even think it's been uh, sprayed, has it? Has it been sprayed? We're probably not going to get the maximum amount now out of this. Alright, let's get this set up here before we forget. Good position here. Let's see. No, it wasn't. Oh, for God's sakes. Not to worry, anyway, I'll just let that work away. 
Anyway, let's go and pick up the other stuff. And then um, I'll do the sugar as well off, off camera. Try and lift as much as possible. There's a nice big field there ready for cotton. That's going to be the last one for cotton as well. We're not going to do any more uh, cotton planting after this. Because uh, of whatever money we get out of this plus the, um, you know, the clothes and the silage. We're going to put that towards buying the field and covering it in solar panels. Just to, like a long goal we've been looking to have for a while. So I'll start off with the, the front one and try and pick up the cakes with this here. Um, yeah. Oh, where did they come from? That's weird. Oh, that's where they went to. I had an issue earlier on where um, the issue was uh, some of them disappeared on me. And um, they got like lifted automatically by the the trailer, the big massive trailer that lifts all the all the um things. Do you know what? I'm gonna come back to that because it will spawn. Yeah, just I'll go around it twice. go around the front again hopefully no more spawns although it does like to put another couple back just snake it in there oh did any spawn back no nope. that's good all right let's tidy these up there you go, that's the front one completely full, so now we can go and lift all the um, the clothes with the back one. So I'm just going to automatically load this and drive like this here. What I do is I do like a bit of like a cross X. It's just a lot better. Like this here, it's just trying to go around them in a certain way, it's, it's a bit difficult. And pick up these last two here. There we go. That's that. And turn off automatic loading so we don't pick up it now it's along the way. Um Right, so we'll take this here up and chuck it in. Um I'm trying to keep all the furniture and stuff in the one place so that's easier to pick up and sell. Oh, nearly did that. So I'm gonna pick up these ones here as well. I'm trying to keep everything in the one. I hate having to go down into that uh, pit there as I call it. To there we go. I hate having to go down into it. It's just awkward. But the plan is to completely remove everything there, make all that um, the same level as the uh, the shed there, and then just sort of if you imagine like a hill sort of going up from there down to it, it's just a lot better because I hate having to drive in it, and we don't have to worry about the sheep pen or anything. So that's out of the way. There comes the mower. I was thinking of buying the big mower and just keeping that up there and then having that one there as a spare for the other stuff but um, I'd rather put the money in towards this but we're not going to be doing that much so I'm not going to go mad on it oh oh yeah, GB there we go there we go now let's go and drive it in I thought I fixed that when I didn't apparently. Okay, let's go with this one here. We'll do the front first. And we'll do the back. There we go. Now let's reverse this here the way. Still trying to get the hang of this here. Now let's see. Clothes. How much clothes have we got? 51. We got 52 last year so we just... Those 25. So we'll have to do two runs. Austin Powers here. There we go. And now we can go G and load up this side. There we go. Just gonna keep um piling this here right. Close. Yep. 
flowers. I have to come down the other way. Oh, I hate when it does that. I have to come down the other way. Just trying to keep everything sort of nicely stacked on it. I don't think I've ever shown this before where I've got like a full trailer stuff. Have I? I'll come round again. I've got 29 on this. I draw it, I'll I'll keep it up. I think it's forty no, it's thirty two and sixteen. It's forty eight, isn't it? So there should be three left. Alright, let's try this. Three left, that's right. Now, let's see. We're on definitely in April, yeah. So let's see the best place to sell all this. Uh, let's see. Close, 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 close. There it is. 18224. Just to double check. Oh, it. It looks like May is now the best time. 17, 6. That's weird. In April. What is it? 17, 760. Hold on. What? Seventeen seven six zero. And we're currently getting. Oh well, here. No, we'll, we'll go to this one because it's eighteen. It's not going to be any higher than that, right? So we've got the supermarket tag. It must be. Yeah, it's that one there. That's okay. Now we'll take it handy because this here easily tips. Not in any rush. I see when this thing tips, it's so hard to get back up. But yeah, I don't think I've ever shown before just how much you get out of one of these. A full trailer load of it. There we go. And we put it into the shop. There we go. Eight hundred and seventy four thousand out of a full load there. So satisfying. That went down very quickly. 800. It's not brilliant. Just goes to show you a full year. That's that's per year. From that field plus all the wool. Oh. That uh, it's just if for anybody that's looking to start out, it is. It's good if you have a field full of uh, like cotton and stuff, and then you have sheep to keep it topped up as well. Realistically, I have uh, eight sheep pens there. And I've bought two more uh, spinneries as well because the other ones were full up to the brim. So if you think about it, it's almost like a one-to-one -one ratio. Whereas for every, um, I think I've, I've talked about this before. I've, I've gone past the place, I'm not even thinking. Um, if you think about it, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So for every one uh, sheep pen, large sheep pen, it'll do one spinnery and happily keep it topped up. And then all you need to do is keep a bale on that. And it does the job. Uh, 
Alright, I'm gonna take these up as well and sell these. No, that's the sale in April, is it? January, March, April. Closed fabric and wool. Wow, we have none other than that to sell. You know what, you, what you could almost do as well is you could sell the excess wool to this place up here as well. In fact, you know what, I might actually do it because there is so much wool in those places anyway. They're gonna be full for another year, I'd say. Or a month, and they're gonna just keep tapping up. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go over and we'll pick all the wool up and sell it. Might seem like a waste to some people, but I'm not gonna be playing this that long after afterwards. No, there's not gonna be that much to do in the game that we're gonna be needing that much money in a long period of time. Like that there, if you think about it, the stuff that's currently there at the minute, that's gonna be there for at least another two years in game years. So by selling it now, I'd say we'd probably get to two years, but like look at the money we have there at the minute. And all we need to do is buy this oil processing facility and then buy the olive uh, buy field and olive vines and then buy all the solar panels. So we will buy another field in this here episode. Um I wasn't expecting to get that much, to be honest. So Yeah. No. Let's put this here on automatic. Try and fill up as much of this as possible. And you're just going to stack these nicely. There we go. Turn that off for a second and go around here and try to fill up a bit more. So it'd be interesting to see just how much you get as well if you were to sell this. Oh god. It had a bit of a an incident. No, I got I did get more than that on it. There we go. Right, that's gonna be the max. Uh G B. There we go. Just in curiosity, I would like to sell this without the clothes. Now I need to be careful because this thing really tips easily with the wool on it. It's it's shocking how bad it is at tipping. reverse and get that way but I'm trying to get the hang of reversing this thing so you kind of have to like do the opposite of there you go yeah I tried to get the hang of it reversing a single axle trailer is easy enough but double axle is just different I've only got 2,000 liters of clothes so I've seemed to be missing a pallet Let's try and see if we can stack this nicely. Yeah, there's the clothes. For some reason it didn't include that on it. I'm gonna try and do this here again. Yeah, it's okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll offload this. We'll offload this in the shed. Because what I want to do is see how much we get out. This is per every two months. Remember this. So for every two months, what you see on the back of this here is what comes out of the um, the sheep pen. Oh, the trailer nearly went there. I need to be careful. Need to be careful. Need to be careful. Nearly went there again. So this is for two months. So if you didn't want to put it into the spinnery and you just wanted to sell what came out of it, it'd be, I'm just curious to see just how much you get. Well, I'll put this all in here anyway, because what I want to do is stack this all up nicely first. Oh, oh god, oh god. It tips so easily. But sometimes you, there is a trick to it. Hold on. Kind of have to... There's a wee bit of a trick to it. Right, where's the, oh, the tractors are way up there? Is there any other tractor nearby that would get that? There's that. Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the the lorry. I'm 
just gonna leave the milk there because it's that's only used as a backup for selling. We've got so much of it at the minute that I'm just selling whatever's left. Um, if I remember right, in the previous versions of the game, you could put a hitch in the back of these here for carrying other stuff. You no, know, like for carrying ordinary trailers. Which is kind of weird. Let me see, what's that? That's a. Uh, barley. It's halves in September and October, that's okay. Come on, the nearly goes. Come on, come on, come on. This here is easily the tip over. Oh, because that stupid hell. So, so annoying. Let's try the truck again. I'll bonk it from this here side. the truck again. So this is where a front loader would come in handy. I don't want to res I don't know if resetting it actually actually do you know what maybe we will. Let's try resetting it. I don't know if it has an issue with that. You know, with the load on the back. But if I remember in previous versions sometimes it did actually Alright let's see reset. How do I reset? I wonder if I said that. There's no button there for resetting. Uh, there used to be a way to reset these. It's like reset location. Ah, there we go. It's the other thing this here, reset. And then trailers. That one, reset. Now, ah, there we go. Um, so we'll go and pick that stuff back up again. Yeah, so that was a bit of a waste of time, but anyway, we'll go over and pick all that stuff up, and then we'll find out what the best place is to sell wool. Just curious to see how much we get. Every two months. This is uh, April, May, and June. Yeah. If anything, this actually works out a lot better. That we're cutting that out, I feel, up there a bit late. Just I forgot to fertilize it, so. Alright, we're not, um. Not going mad with it this time. What? That's weird. Oh, um, Euro Palette. Uh, 
it seems to be having an issue with trying to pick all this stuff up. Might need to reset the game. Yep, I'm gonna have to reset the game. I will resume this in a second. Okay, so we're back. Um, I just quickly um, took that stuff out. Yeah, reset and I've done the job. I just uh, put all the stuff out here so that it was easier to pick up. So I'll go and... Oh, I hate when that happens. So now I just need to go and pick it all up. So we'll go and get... Uh, the front one first. And then we get the... These ones here on the side. There we go. See, it looks like there's room for more stuff there, but it looks things. Nah, I'm going to take it handy going up here. Oh, how'd that happen? Oh, the straps. Uh, how do I tension belts activate control J? Hold on. Try that again. It does that. It's really weird. I'll come back to it. I'll go and get all this here stuff offloaded here first. Or maybe I'll pick it up here first. Why is the tension belts not coming on on that? Fasten. There we go. I'm gonna do that again. There we go. I swear the hills or something come back in this. I don't know if, if that is the case, but it just seems a wee bit weird. Right, and I'll float all this and then pick it all up. Oh, wrong thing. It's the. Did I miss any there? No. It's this one. Because I only want to dump that, because we don't need to dump the stuff in the back of the trailer. So all the wool now. Oh, apparently there's something in the back of this here, is there? Is there clothes in the back of that? Doesn't look to be. It's really weird. Try and get this last one here. There we go. Then we go to the back one. 
and flip that on as well. There we go. No, there should, uh, there's no clothes on that now, that's okay. Uh, let's see, let's have a look to see what the best place is to sell this. Well, 2,207. Spinnery. Okay. Right, uh, it's 2,207, but there are all these here are spinnery, so it's fluctuating up and down. I think this, this one here is the only place, so... Where is that? It's alright. I'll we'll take it over there anyway. I'm gonna just go easy with the load. So we've got 42,000 liters in it. So I'd say we'd probably get. Let's take a guess. 80k? 80 to 90k? Now, if you think about it, right? So, say we get 90k out of it. The full load. That's per every two months. So you'd be able to do that uh, six months of the year. Six nangs. What's that? Hold on, I'll pull this up here first. That's 30. And 55, so it's about. Um, it should say, it should come up on this here on the finances. Let me go to have a look. Uh, sold goods, where is it? Sold wool. We got 88,000. So that's say we'll run that up to 90, say if we were to get like more. Right? So that's uh, 9 times 6, because you do it every 2 months. 9 6 is 54. 540,000 you get per year and that's just on selling the world not putting it through your process silly whereas you get 800 and something 850,000 per year if you do the clothes now remember as well as we're putting wool uh, we're putting uh, cotton into that as well so whatever the price of the cotton is that per year and it keeps in storage it does for a couple of years it does work out it does you no know, make money but if you're in for a quick if you just want quick money that's probably the best way to do it. Just sell it, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. I'm just gonna ditch that there. I wanna pick up these clothes here, the ones that we left behind. Wherever the hell they are. Oh, that's weird, they're all gone. Where is the pallet of clothes? Should have been two more. Two more pallets of clothes somewhere. There it is. That's one though. Where's the other? There's one over in the. Uh, we did get three. So where's the other one? I'll leave this here on because the other one seems to have disappeared. Really weird. Should be too bad. But there's only one in here for the looks of things. Let's have a look. Nice it fell in here when we were doing it. Cake, cheese. There's clothes there. That's really weird. Odd. But anyway, um, we've made a bit of a loss there. Yes, we'll put it in. That should take us well above uh, a million. 
Uh, when I say well above, it'll probably take us just maybe a couple of hundred over. Um, but yeah, no, that I always look forward to selling that. And it's it's no silage, no, it's good, but that's better. But if you've loads of fields and lots of facilities, uh, like producing all that stuff, you'd be winning. Oh, I was gonna. There we go. Oh, 7,000 over. 36,000. Excellent. I forgot it's 18, not 13. I was thinking of 13 for some reason. So that's 1 million over now. So what we'll do here is... Uh, just because we're pushed for time. Um, what we'll do is we'll buy a field that we're going to be putting the grapes into. So let's have a look and see what there is. And we'll put them in a farmland. Now, I was thinking of something like uh, over here and putting all, like, say, like olives inside here. However, maybe something like this, where you have all that there and it's 268, whereas you get this, this, and this. It is affordable. Now, you can convert them all into olive fields. Um, but, hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. So, we could convert that onto olive fields, cover it in a field, and then, you no, know, do whatever with it. Also, when you're planting the olives, how does it know to do, like, multiple rows? Like, how... I don't know. What way does it work? So, we own uh, this stretch of land here. We could sell that, but... No point. And then we have... We could buy that. We could buy that. That's... Why is that so expensive? We get... Very little for it. Could buy these fields here. Convert those all into oil, which would be pretty good. What do we have that we don't need enough space for? I think over here would be good. Let's buy all that. Now, that leaves us 436,000. So, how do you how do you plant this stuff? I'm gonna put olives in because we will be building that facility anyway. And uh, let's see, let's go over here. Oh, too far. Is this the new plot of land here? No, on over here it is. All this here. What's currently growing in this though? There's one. There's two. There should be a third field here. But what's in those, what's growing in those other two there? Oh, so there's corn growing in one, but it might be growth. Oh, they're growing. Okay, that's good. So let me see. Crop type. So there's corn in the top one. Wheat in the middle one. And oats in the other one. Excellent. So, wheat, oats, and corn. Is that right? So, wheat, oats, and corn. So, let's see. The wheat is harvested in July. The oats is also in July. And the corn is in October. So, if we wait until July... Harvest all that. We get extra cash out of it. Might just sell the crops direct instead of you no know, putting it back into the facilities. Because as I say, it's going to take a while for it to drain all of that. And then sell the bales because they're not going to bother with the bales anymore either. Yeah, so sell everything that comes out of all this. Sell it all. To make some money back for the fields. And then uh, we'll plant. I'll find out if you have to merge all these here into fields. And then plant your... Um, grape vines or your olive vines or whatever it is or if you can do it like cover it all in grassy and then put them down does it does the machines know that it can move over to the next or does it rely on fields or whatever but um i'll find that out here now but yeah let's uh let's end the episode there and then the next one what we'll do is i will 
yeah I will what do you call it just get to the point where all that has been done and we're ready for that stage of no putting them down and um, I'm just looking here now olives olives can be planted any time between March and August so we're okay for that whereas uh, what's where's the where's the grapes they're only between March and May so yeah olives are, are, are seem to be the best but yeah when does the uh, that's canola growing up on top as well that's harvested in July oh lovely oh no but oh, no no that's not wait right no 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 it's not uh, canola growing up there sunflowers when are they October that's all right same as the uh, I forgot that I couldn't put the canola there because it can only be planted in August whereas it was already past that stage because we, we we had to plant the uh, sunflowers sunflowers were in March because yeah that's that's the, the last month that they were planted in but anyway um as I say I'm gonna skip all that there footage and then just get to the point where all um that field is ready to go and then what we'll do is we will do a harvest with the oil process the oil whatever money we get out of that we're gonna buy another field we'll find some field covered in solar panels and just skip the footage year by year by year month by month and just see how much we can get out of it and just exponentially buy uh, more stuff so for example if we have a hundred solar panels buy them all skip a month buy another say 20 skip a month buy another 25 ex no an ex exponentially buy a lot of stuff until we have all the land bought just through skipping the time and all that and I know we won't be feeding the cows we won't be attending to the processes but that's just the way it is and that'll be the last thing we'll do but yeah that's it for this year episode thanks again for watching if any comments or any suggestions do drop them down below over his discord channel that's linked in the description for our discord channel for the schedule as well as information board there you'll be able to see what games we're playing as well as when those games are coming out to youtube i keep forgetting to mention but i'm not uh, taking any more suggestions for this here series however if you have any comments about how we could do things better do put it down below because other people will see it and if they are playing the game they'll learn from that as well there is so much to learn from this game i've probably been doing stuff wrong on it as well i'm sure people will point it out eventually in the future but it is what it is city skylines 2 will be the next game to come out on the channel unless it comes out in say autumn or winter whereas we'll find another game to play in the meantime until that comes out but until we know for certain when that uh, game is coming out we're just going to be focused that's going to be the main focus of the channel as soon as it does maybe we'll go back into playing Victorio and the other games etc but we'll wait and see what happens but uh, yeah that's it for this here episode thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one I would like to give a massive shout out to the channel donators you help make these videos possible.